Hey guys, Level Cap here. Today I want to talk about a situation in Battlefield 4 that occurred a couple patches ago when they modified the Battlefield 4 weapon attachments. Now, before they modified this, there was a lot of interesting ways to customize your weapon in Battlefield 4, both visually and to make the weapons perform better. After the attachment update, they basically gave a lot of attachments really big negative effects. So you almost didn't want to equip them. And right now I run most of my guns without any attachments on them because they shoot the best when I'm not running them with any attachments. And this kind of sucks because before I had all these cool combinations and I'm like, oh, I know I always run the angle grip with this weapon and this one works best with a heavy barrel and stubby grip. But now there aren't any of those combinations anymore. There's a few guns I'll still run with the angled grip but that's about it and it really sucks that they kind of just obliterated the whole attachment game with one fell swoop in one of the patches. Now the main negative attribute that's been added to most of the attachments in the game is this weapon spread increase or a slower decrease of weapon spread, effectively making it so that your bullets just spread out in a larger pattern uh, being less accurate overall. So you have to decide, do I want less vertical recoil but also less bullet accuracy? It's kind of a lose-lose situation there because you're making your weapon perceivably more accurate because you're experiencing less recoil, yet your shots are flying through the air not hitting where you're aiming. It's a really bad way of balancing out the attachments. Now when I think about game design, I think it's much more fun to design games in ways that purely make you look at the good parts of them. And you're not weighing pros and cons necessarily or saying, if I put this compensator on this gun, it's gonna affect my recoil like this, but also make the gun less accurate. God, what do I do? How do I know if this is gonna be better for my weapon? Rather than having all these positive effects and negative effects, I think there's a better way to balance out attachments so that they're only positive. But then you might be thinking, well, is there going to be any point into running a weapon naked with no attachments? Well, yes, if you design it so that running a weapon naked actually has its own benefits. But what would those benefits be? How can we add an attribute to the game that doesn't force us to rebalance all the weapons in accordance with this attribute? Well, what if we affect aiming down sight time? If you think about it, when you're adding new compensation and muzzle brakes and heavy barrels, you're adding weight to a weapon. So in a way it would make sense that if you just had the standard barrel on a gun or a lightweight barrel, that you could aim down sights a little bit faster. You could maneuver the weapon slightly quicker. So what if you used the standard barrel gave you a 7.5% increase in aiming down sight time or decrease rather. And same goes for the under barrel. Rather than using a foregrip, an angled foregrip, a stubby grip, if you just use the weapon naked, it gives you an aiming down sight time decrease of 7.5%. If you use them together, you can get a 15% benefit to your aiming down sight speed. This might be really useful for a certain type of play style. And then when rebalancing the other attachments in the game, you can take that terrible spread penalty, which I don't think should be on any attachments in the game, and just get rid of it. And then you can just say, well, look, the flash hider gets rid of my muzzle flash and gives me no negative effects. I know if I put that on there, exactly how my weapon's gonna be performing and recoiling. The compensator would reduce your side-to-side -side recoil and not affect your overall weapon accuracy. So if you don't care about your aiming down sight time as much as you do of your side-to-side -side recoil, then you can throw that on the weapon. No negatives whatsoever. Obviously, we need a few negatives, like say with the suppressor that uh, reduces your muzzle velocity and stuff like that. But for the most part, the spread decrease could be gotten rid of completely. And we could just look at the positive effects of weapon attachments. I'm constantly seeing players in games that are using weapons that are outfitted in ways that are terrible, making the guns perform even worse than they would if you didn't have any attachments on them whatsoever. The attachment system right now is very broken because of these negative side effects of attachments, and it would just be so much easier if there are only positive effects. That means in one way or another, you really couldn't customize a weapon in a way that was going to make it perform poorly. So overall, I think this is a fairly simple solution to a problem that can be seen as being more complex than it really needs to be. I guess the only reason real roadblock to this would be whether or not DICE can easily modify the aiming down sight time based on attachment properties. Anyway, I'd love to hear what you guys think about this solution. Do you have any sort of additions or modifications to my idea? Or maybe you have a better idea altogether. Let me know in the comments. As always guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap, signing off.